I'm Justin DePago, out in the shop of my 1915 Craftsman Style House. Today I'm working on furniture for the master bedroom. Most of my projects recently have, have been master bedroom, master suite oriented. That's my focus for the time being. So one thing that I need now is a vanity. And so I found these two pieces at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. If you don't know about the Restore Habitat, for Humanity has locations all over the country where they sell stuff that's been donated to them. It's construction material, it's furniture, depending on the location, sometimes it's clothes. Different places have different stuff, but it's a really great resource for finding stuff to fix up, repurpose, repair, and it's all for a great cause. I can't recommend the Habitat for Humanity Restore highly enough. Anyway, so I got this piece. It's on its side, but it has these cabinet doors and shelves and this nice beveled glass. It's well put together. This piece set me back. More expensive find for me. This was 75 bucks. This is going to be on the bottom. Behind it is this piece, which uh, has a couple of shelves, has a mirror, and this will sit on top. And together, there'll be my vanity. This isn't designed to be a vanity piece. If I just put these two pieces together, it would be too low. Okay, so the feet of this piece now um, are gonna get that caster. Honestly, I thought that this little rubber foot was just nailed on, but it's not. It's, uh, it's actually screwed in. And then there's a little threaded guy in here. So for each one of these feet, I gotta take these out. And that's a little bonus because I can save this little this little system for some other piece. And then I've gotta make this hole larger. This T-nut except 3 8 inch bolt. So the T-nut goes in there, and then the 3 8 inch bolt goes in there. And that's how I'll screw the uh, that's how I'll screw the casters in place. But this barrel, this threaded barrel on the back of the T-nut, the outside diameter of it is larger than 3 8 inch. So I can't use a 3 8 bit to open that up. I've got to use 7 16 Open that up a bit. Then this will go right in there, right in there. And then these, these teeth on the back bite into the wood here. And to get them to do that. So now, now I can get this caster screwed into the leg. And not only does that make this thing rollable now, but it also buys me this much height. So instead of being 24 inches off the ground, instead of being 24 inches off the ground, now it's 28 and a half. This is what they're gonna look like married together. This is 50 inches right here. And this, this is 42. The difference on each side is four inches. This is all pretty precarious right now because they're not, they're not actually attached to each other yet. So this thing is rocking a little bit in this light breeze. So I'm gonna do this quickly to make this look like all one piece. I'm gonna paint it a unified pattern. It's gonna match the writing table that I did that's already, it's already upstairs, it's already upstairs in my bedroom. So that sort of blotter pattern, I'm gonna repeat that. But in order to do that, I'm just gonna mark out to scribe right here. And now I can take this thing down and get it out of the wind. It's not windy, it's just this very slight breeze, but it's, it's like a sail. Now, this line that I scribe will become the edge of that blotter pattern. All right, I started masking things off and then, and then I just couldn't stop. I masked off the blotter, the mirror, the glass on the cabinet doors. Always a, a bit of an ordeal, but here's here's the top with the mirror covered up, and obviously here's the, the base on its side. While this thing is all uh, vulnerable with its legs in the air, I'm going to take advantage of it and put the casters on. Locking casters, they go in the front so that I can reach them, and the ones that don't lock go in the back. I'm going to stand this up on its feet now. This is actually the toughest part for the casters because they can they can support a lot of weight on top of them but turn sideways like this, that's when you have to be careful. You put too much weight on them and they can crack off right there at the joint between the caster and the leg. And, uh, and back here I have cardboard 
I have cardboard between the dolly and the top. Hopefully that kept the top from getting scratched up by the dolly. And we'll find out as we stand this thing up. All right, the top looks good. No scratches. They're still not attached to each other, so we're moving slow and gentle. We're not, we're not shaking the floor. Okay, we're sort of behind the scenes here. We're backstage. This right here is the union between the upper piece with the mirror and the lower piece. And I'm gonna join them up with these, with these L brackets, like so. And another in the other corner, one in the middle and one in the middle, just to keep this all one big unit. Pilot hole. These are tiny screws and tiny, tiny holes, so I have this dialed down to its lowest setting. Now, put this where it goes. All right, that's more or less right between the windows or right between where the windows will be. Let's take the paper down. That looks pretty nice. A little bit of touching up here where the tape overlapped so it didn't get paint, but uh, for the most part, that, that did very well. Let's see how these did. This utility blade that I found under the carpet when I ripped it up has come in handy. I used it to do a little touch up on the writing table and now I've used it to clean up the glass on this. So I'm glad I found this thing. Okay, here it is, the finished piece. And you can see how well it goes with the writing table. And actually it goes pretty well with the shop vac. That, that's unintentional, but it, it goes with the shop vac pretty well. The shop vac is more orange. The highlights on the furniture pieces are Chinese red. It's all coming together. So that's it for now. I, I hope you enjoyed this piece. This is the kind of thing that you can find at, at the ReStore. Put some pieces together and, and create something new. And if you like that, and if you like this video, then like this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more stuff like it, to watch this room come together, see me fill those window bays in, and build a bed, and all kinds of other stuff in here. And follow me on social media. You'll see the links down below in the description, and see stuff that doesn't end up as uh, videos in my 1915 house, but I'm now going to start saying is 101 years old. And until then, thank you, and we'll see you next time.